Hi there! If you are new here, my name is Stu. If you are not new here, then welcome back. If you do not know me, I am a 23-year-old full-time content creator from California. I do e-girl gaming and cosplay content. You were on my gaming channel, so this is where I do all of my gaming content. Um, I do have a main channel as well. It is just youtube.com slash stupid, and that is where I do more of my e-girl and fashion content over on that channel. This is where I do all of my gaming stuff here. Today we are playing a new game that has come out recently and I've seen some buzz about it called The Coffin of Andy and Lele. All I know so far about this game is that it is kind of like a visual novel with just like some light gameplay, some light puzzles, and obviously it has some dark themes going on and um, apparently it is about killing cannibalistic siblings. Which, you know, sounds fun. I originally wanted to play this with my brother. You may remember my brother. I've done a few videos with him. I thought that that would be fun, but I did not, our schedules are just, it would take too long to coordinate and I wanted to play this now while the hype is still around it. So yeah, with that being said, I don't know how long this is, but we're gonna find out. So let's uh, do a new game. Episode one, The Coffin. This game is in early access, by the way. Oh. Okay, I like the music. Lele, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and... Something? Do something. You. I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Uh-oh. Ooh. Cool emo pink eyes. Whoa, this looks cool. Good morning, Ashley. I love this music. Why does this remind me of Undertale? Ugh, she's so cute. Look at her. She's a goth girlfriend vibes. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. What is that, food? Ready, set, go. <gasps> this is so cool. This looks like something like, it looks kind of almost like hand-drawn. Like, it looks like it was stylized to just be drawn, like, kind of like a notebook. She's just floating. Look at her. She, her legs don't even, her feet don't even go. They just float. Mother won't pick up no matter how many times you call. You've also tried to order food a bazillion times, but for whatever reason, the orders never arrive. Oh my gosh, so what are we in? Like, a weird purgatory? Oh, this is our bathroom. Let's play some video games. Uh, it's white noise. How thrilling. Who wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you've got entertainment like this? She not able to- Inside the cabinets is nothing! Oh, I love that. You're used to filling your stomach with water. But it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance! So she's definitely hungry. Junk and unpaid bills, they cannot be eaten. A lone trash bag. We don't wanna- we don't wanna eat out of the trash like a raccoon. <laughs> oh, what is this in the trash? Well, I got a can of tomatoes in the trash bag! Amazing, you should show that to your brother. I will show him the can of tomatoes. Can we leave? Front door won't budge. You've been locked in here for months now. Oh, okay, so they really can't leave. They're locked inside their their home for some reason. You pro Oh my god. Okay. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Wasn't expecting that to be said. Okay, so I guess I'll go show this can of tomatoes to my but to my is it my big brother or my little brother? What's up, bro? You wanna just- Why did she just have a sad face? Like, I've just realized, like, her on her face, it's just, like, a frown. The whole time. Okay, you show him the tomato can. Ta-da! Oh my god, these are the most emo pairs of siblings I've ever seen in my life. Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer. Aww. Quit your complaining. Your energetic- I'm, tr I'm trying to think of like a sultry emo voice for these characters, but I'm like not that good at like maintaining the voices over time. So I will we'll try our best. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash. So clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know it was in- Because I hid it there away from you. <gasps> I live in a den of snakes. I don't think a high-pitched voice suits the little goth girl, but I don't know what else to do. I only have one voice for male and one voice for female. Ah, uh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No. Put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see- Oh, no. Wrong. Wrong person. I can see that your heart is set on this. 
Fine, let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Aw. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. Hells, yeah, I'll cook us some tomatoes. Well, maybe maybe then she won't have such a sad little frown on her face. <gasps> Good day, are you still alive in there? The warden, are we in a prison? Hello, if you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. But she ran so fast. You don't bring it to the living either. Haha, -ha, I'll take that as a yes, still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye! No, wait! Wait, wait, come back! He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't come back. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. So are we in prison? Like, um, some, where are we kidnapped? What, what's happening here? So I guess we'll just go back to cooking our tomatoes. You boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes! Oh, yeah! I love some delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. Oh, man, no salt. You use all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Um, well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms, and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. I feel like he talks slowly. Like, I just don't know why. Like, I just his facial expression. <laughs> Kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Yes, I hear it. It does sound quite ominous and hauntingly beautiful at the same time. Are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again? Wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Ooh, a balcony key. So there's somewhere we can go outside? This way, I'm assuming. Oh, okay, so we're in, like, an apartment-esque? I'm not too sure exactly what's happening here. An ashtray. There are no cigarettes left to smoke, but it is still good for bashing things in. Oh, okay. Are we gonna kill our neighbor? Hmm. Can't really see squat from here. Well, then where else should I go? You contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. I mean, it doesn't look that far. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. Ah, uh, he's no fun. Guess I'll have to set something up to cross. I mean, it doesn't look that far. Can I maybe use the table or the chair? You can't cross this as it is. Okay, so let's go find something. I need to find something to make a bridge. I need to make a bridge. The couch. We can move the couch. Maybe that's a little too heavy. Um, I don't think... I don't see anything in here that could be used as a bridge. I love the music in this game. So, oh, here we go. The shelf. The shelf that she broke earlier. I love that. There we go. A wooden plank. Awesome. Let's go visit our neighbor friend. Yay! Let's see what he's got. These boxes are full of useless junk. Nothing interesting. All right, let's go see him. Let's break in. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh! <gasps> Cultist. Oh, demons from heck. Hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones. I come seeking your advice. Dang it, what am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Oh man. They're like, what? What's happening here? What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. His is just trying to summon demons. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? Oh, you guys don't wanna, you don't wanna hang out? Bothering your satanic neighbor seems like a bad idea. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't I don't feel like being sacrificed today. Ah, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Eh, what a pain. Oh, it's so painful to have to push physically push the buttons on the TV. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, woe is you. It is. By the way, guys, I did forget to mention this in the beginning, um, but this game is on Steam and it's only $10. So I always suggest, um, you know, going and playing it for yourself. Um, I do believe that there are ch chances of getting multiple different endings with this game and I don't know how much of it I'm going to play. So yeah, uh, always make sure to go support the developers and check out the game yourself. Or if you watch this and you like it, maybe at least go leave them a nice review on there. Okay, so we took the batteries out of our alarm clock. Why is he sitting, like, up so high on the couch? Like, he's not even sitting on the couch. He's sitting, like, on the back of the couch. You did it. such a bang-up job. More. Oh, you heaven- He's, like, praising her. Oh, you heaven sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. 
You sit in awe. You should sit too. It's starting. Okay, so now we're watching TV. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first in incident was discovered, and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those who are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers! I'm going to bed. Interesting, so they're like quarantined for some... something. So that's why they can't leave. I guess we all remember what that was like. Sort of. So we're going to bed. Whoa, what is this? Am I dreaming? Or is this a memory? Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until I didn't drink anything. Mom, not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. So they abandoned their children? You and Andrew can join us later. So they abandoned their children during the quarantine. That's insane. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a mm, mother freak freaker. There we go. And now you. Um, how long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. And obviously their blood was not clean because they're still here. That's all for now. Take care. So I wonder- dang, so I can't believe the parents just abandoned them. Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. So, and they got a new apartment without their kids. So they abandoned their kids in an old, contaminated apartment. And then went and got a new apartment. And doesn't even want them to call. Wow, mom of the year. No wonder they ended up like this. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I didn't- I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. No, you're not! Shut up! You're the worst mom ever. Wow, that's screwed up. That is some awful, awful parents. Or mom. I don't know where the dad is, but that is a terrible mom. After reminiscing all night, you wake up, as one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Oh, uh-oh, I woke him up. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? So I wonder how long they have to be here for. They said, like, several months, right? Like, three months? Oh, here we go. Got the detergent. Run some laundry. What else could you clean? Oh, I got a mop. Oh, right. Okay, so here's the mop. So let's go clean the dirt on the floor. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. Mopping some dirt. You know, I was just cleaning my apartment yesterday. I mean, I could have just played this game instead and virtually cleaned. What else is there to take care of? Probably all these trash can- all these trash bags, no? I mean, do you really want all the trash to sit around? Fix the shelf in here, maybe? Yeah, clean up the books. Okay. Oh, uh-oh. What's happening? She's so sad. You're feeling dizzy. Probably because she's malnourished. Dang it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. Oh, yeah. So she passed out from just being exhausted, probably. Back to the TV. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantined households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has. Does it look like I'm eating right now? <laughs> hmm. On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. <gasps> I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be... You drift back into unconsciousness. Wow, that's a uh, harsh. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course, what is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. 
Or I can try talking to her, but... No, or, I mean, yes, but that doesn't... No, I'm not angry, I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about... You don't... Ashley and Ashley and... I haven't had the time to think. Just can't anymore. So that's it, then? Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, alright, I guess? What else is there to say? Sorry? Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for... A faint beep beep of a dropped call can be heard. Uh-oh. Ah. Well, that didn't sound good. Was that the mom again? Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently! Oh, no! Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why do you think? H how should I know? Because... Maybe because you're a parasite infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined? Yeah, I guess so. Or because she found someone new? It has been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place? Okay, Ashley, I think that's enough. Whatever you say, Ashley. Hmm. There might have been something more tactful to say. <laughs> Whatever, you pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Yeah, that's too bad. I mean, how they said they were in there for a long time, so... Kind of hard to have a relationship with somebody who's just, like, stuck in an apartment for several months. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too! People are yelling from their windows and balconies. They're like, take us! Yeah, I need some help too! Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Jeez, these poor people, like, I I wonder if they should just try to break out somehow. Color me surprised if they actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die, she wasn't moving. As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea, nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumb <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Think they'd bring me food if I got pre- Well, girl, chill! Chill, what are you implying, girl? Nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. Forget this. Yeah, the, the, the Satanist next door. Well, excuse the heck out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it was just a thought. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his business anyway. But you're just too exhausted. I mean, didn't we just wake up? <laughs> but after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. She's filled with determination. She doesn't look like she's filled with determination. Oh, she, she definitely has no energy. We are moving slow. Okay, so I guess it makes sense why they start eating people. Oh, damn. Oh, she is not good. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? And where the heck does Andrew get this energy to make so much noise? Oh, he's at the door. What's he doing at the door? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in, so he is trying to escape. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. When has he ever brought us food? Like, I have- I don't think he's bringing us food at all. You won't either way! Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang bang banging on the door, or next it'll be me banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like I didn't mess this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. And see, you did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. No. Dang, they really just don't care about these people. Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You'd think something would be happening to us by now, but I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Ugh, who cares? This is like obviously a huge conspiracy for something. Some kind of a controlled experiment. Because nobody's sick. Their parents abandoned them. Like, this is this is definitely some kind of weird experiment going on. I wonder if their parents like signed them up to be experiments for whatever this project is. Me, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not, though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. <laughs> Excuse me? 
What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well, we've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. <laughs> get your head checked. I should get my head checked? And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you if those are your plans for romance. Not romance, I said romantic, they're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... Oh boy, there goes the culty neighbor. The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. He's trying to summon those demons again, darn it. Billy Bob next door summoning those demons. Again, I wish he'd just... Oh my god, I think he succeeded. Uh-oh, he succeeded. I feel like, oh crap. You feel like you should check up on that. No, you should not. You should not ever interrupt a demon ritual. Just saying. Um, but okay, but well, we're gonna do it. Because we're crazy, and we have nothing else to do. Oh my lord, you've come and you're uh, a little smaller than I've imagined. It's so cute, it's just little tiny eyes. I love it, it's better than I imagined. That That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? <laughs> that's that's my demon voice, I guess. Oh, um, I, I don't have much to give right now, but if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is is that no good? As you wish, human. <laughs> oh my lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Uh-oh, you gonna kill him? Darkness clouds your vision and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Oh, so you killed him. They're gonna eat him! So, uh, am I already delirious, or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do, do, do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy has that we can eat. Ooh, burglary time! Shut up, and let's get in there. The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Oh, so we got to break it? Ashtray. Oh yeah, here we go. Break it with the ashtray. Alright, let's turn this off. Enough of you. Let's see. On the table sits a book titled, Demon Summoning for Dummies. <laughs> now, did they actually have 665 volumes before this? She asks the important questions. But what I want to know is who the hell wrote it in the first place? Undisclosed, the author must be shy. Well, either way, we can browse this later. Let's keep our focus on the task at hand. Right, but I also want to investigate. The closet's big enough to hide in. I wonder if that's going to be important. <laughs> that's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Out loud, apparently. Though, I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know. Oh, you want to eat him? I isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. Ah, uh, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime, too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food, though? And before that, you're gonna tell them a demon killed him? Really, that'll fly. Listen, you are overthinking the heck out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Uh, yeah. Uh, just such a casual conversation about eating a person. Like, this is the most casual conversation they're having. They're like, should we eat him? Uh, okay. All right, then. Let's find something to butcher him with. Oh, my God. Well, I'm assuming it's going to be the giant butcher knife right there, but let's investigate a little more. While looting the jacket's pockets, you find a wallet with 666.66 bucks inside. Now you've got a real moral dilemma here. Stealing a dead man's wallet, will you keep it all or split it with Andrew? Obviously, I'll split it with my brother. Obviously, aren't you a sweetheart? I'll use some of mine to treat you something someday, maybe. We are in this together. I gotta look out for the bro. Now we must cut him up with the cleaver. So you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First, you chop off the cultist's right arm or left arm? Uh, sure, go with the right arm. And now the left arm. Yay! We can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No, can't you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. Okay, I'm gonna go get plastic bags. Or trash bags. Just casually cutting up a body, you know, normal Tuesday evening. Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay, so I got plastic bags in here. We're Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we're picking up- we're picking up the body parts. Awesome. 
Okay, a small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough for, to fit the whole torso in them. Crap, I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over? I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. Oh. <laughs> the cheery task music is hilarious. You see, if anyone happens to be looking out of their window, it'll all be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Listen, this isn't going to- we gotta cut his head off, like... Oh no, he said they can't chop through the spine, I guess. I guess. Right, sorry. Ta-da! Oh boy. Oh my god! No, don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. Alright, alright, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. Alright, so he's gonna put him away. I'm gonna go make us some dinner! Yum! Cooking up some human. What do I want to eat? Should I eat the arm? Or the leg? Well, they're really hungry and I feel like legs would be more. So we'll, we'll go with the, the right leg. Why, why am I like actually using logic to think about this? That doesn't make any sense. I'm like, well, they are really hungry. So maybe like the leg has more meat. Um, I need to get help. <laughs> you fry some meat. Dinner's ready. Right, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Munch, munch, huh? What? Oh, she's already eating it. She's crazy. Oh, you already eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. Ugh! So he's, he's a little more sane than she is. I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't! She's like, you're not throwing up my meal! Swallow. All of it. Oh, so she has has no problems with this at all, and he's a little a little bit a little bit upset about it. Well, how is it? It's God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love, so you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, all right. Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy. I'm so proud. Just piss off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? She's like, she looks so excited about this. She, she's like, she was just, her, her homicidal urges have always been there. She's just, <laughs> she's just unleashing them now. I don't know, maybe coriander? All right, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now, night, night. I mean, if I was going to eat a leg, I would probably season it with everything possible to not taste the leg part. I don't know. You fall asleep, fully content with your life decisions. I love this music. It's so cool. Uh, said she likes you. Who? Oh, they're babies. My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So are you going to be her boyfriend? Gross. No. Ha ha ha. I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh boy. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person for that matter. Screw you. I am the most personist lady in the world. So anyway, I'm going to take her out to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Wow. Oh my god. So she's, she's just always had some homicidal urges. Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. Hee hee hee. You should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse. See what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. <sighs> do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray, you're the best! Today's episode is titled Andy and Lele and the bleh in a box. One day you'll be a bleh in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. Yikes. So Lele is just absolutely insane. What do I do about these hussies around you? <laughs> I'll take you out to play. And when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. So she's very possessive about her brother. It reminds me of... Who is it? Hana Hanako from Yandere Simulator? I know everyone's boycotting that game now, but that's just what it reminds me of when with the sister being the rival. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Um, I don't think you forget a, like, a kidnapping plan. Finally. Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, her eyes are scratched out. I wonder why. Surprise! I want to hang out too. Oh, I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? 
No? Why? Hey, just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with the boy. No way. She thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap. Don't listen. So, are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I'll allow it. Let's find a way in right now. I love this, like, music box soundtrack. I'm really into video game music, so yeah. I it's, like, it's one of my favorite things whenever I play a game is I just love to kind of listen to the soundtrack, and I usually like to download the soundtracks after I'm done playing as well, so I really like this soundtrack so far. Got a hammer. Okay, awesome. Why'd they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect, tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do it. Not without some tools, at least. Huh, even though it's this flimsy? Yes. <laughs> I I like smart guys over beefy ones. Okay, pigtails, relax. Who asked? Yeah, for real. For real, I'm starting to get why she wants to put her in here. Use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. <clears throat> wow, it sure is <clears throat> kind of dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. Oh my god, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Ugh, you're such a kid. Oh my god, well, you're about to be dead, so I- I- Huh? Andy wants to play too. You do? What? Oh, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. Oh my god, this girl. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I'll- I'll be in it. I'm gonna count to ten. Hundred. Count to a hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two... Alright, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course. She said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Lele, you promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. So she obviously has a good grip on her brother because he'll just do what she says. I mean, he'll fight her on it, but ultimately he'll go along with whatever she says. This looks like a good box. Now this will do. There isn't any lock on it though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't. Place a stick or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No, well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'll have the leverage to. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. Ah, let's hide, hide. Where am I supposed to hide? Oh, here we go. Where do we get a stick anyway? Andy picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this will do. Looks like a little splinter. <laughs> oh, well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No. Who do you think? Uh, she's fine, I guess? She's jealous. She doesn't want her brother to like girls. She only wants to hang out with him. Found you, both of you. Who hides in the same spot, idiots? It was my spot first. Then you're it. No way, Andy stole my spot, so he's it. Yes, yes, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. My hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you, too. Come take a look. Um, okay. Into the box, we're gonna kill a girl by putting her in the box. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo. Who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... Hundred. Wow, this, this guy's count really fast. Oh, shoot. He's coming. Hurry, hurry. Er, uh, okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Uh-huh. Huh? huh? Oh, what was that? I got you now. There's two. So uh, she doesn't say names. But what was her name? I think they said it, but I just don't remember. It's too weak to throw you off the lid. This isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. Did she say the name? I don't think so. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up. She's putting up a fight. I can't breathe. Yeah, she's gonna die. Is she all right? Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lele. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust. Um, if you have asthma, she... Yeah, she might die. Come on, just let her out. What? You believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? Everyone likes her better. Bet you like her better too. Bet everybody does. I already know. She's just coughing in there. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you I don't want... And bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's... I mean, maybe she did, but... Oh, it's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. Oh, I like you better, Lele. Prove it, liar. <sighs> I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. Did I not just say, la 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 la, talk sure is cheap. Gosh dang it. 
Ash Ashley. There, are you happy now? Oh my god, she's so manipulative. What? This okay, Ashley is like top tier manipulative. That's crazy. And he'll and Andy is just he'll do whatever she wants. Like he'll go along with her. Like even if it's not what he wants, but he'll go along with it just to like to get her to shut up, basically. Jeez. Just until morning, okay? Yes, yes, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. Do you hear that? You get to stay here until morning. No, please, Ashley. Let me out, please. Ashley, wait, don't go. Ashley, please, Ashley. Ashley, are you awake? I am now. Um, okay. Okay, so we're, we're out of memory lane now. What is it? Nothing, it's just... What the F did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? <gasps> okay, I have a theory. I have a theory. Just based off of that memory, where she's obviously very possessive over her brother, um, she obviously is very manipulative and is very good at getting what she wants. I have a theory, and it seems like she got his girlfriend to break up with him as well on the phone. The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about, you don't, Ashley and Ashley and I haven't had the time to think. Just can't anymore. So that's it then? Now it's quiet on both ends. So my theory is that she orchestrated this whole thing so that only her and her brother would be in this apartment. Like she orchestrated this whole thing so that they would be alone together in this apartment for for forever for months on end for an eternity i don't know i i don't necessarily know how that could happen i just feel like based off of what we've seen about ashley's character i could be like that could be a, a twist that's just my th that's just a theory a game theory um are you out of your mind listen i didn't kill the guy so i didn't do anything wrong you mutilated and ate a corpse what else are we supposed to do call the warden and let him know he died Ah, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. I... We wouldn't have had to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the heck? What? What the heck? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bull. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh, whoosh, there goes my magic wand. There, I've absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well... Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. <laughs> Listen, who cares? Uh, isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First, they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. Honestly, yeah, like, she's kind of right. Uh, like, I, 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 I do think in like a real world situation, like, they could be absolved for this just based off of like their circumstances if they were able to prove it i guess i don't know i don't know then again it kind of seems like she wants this to happen this is not this does not seem like a last minute effort to survive from ashley she was very quick to be like let's eat him she's kind of insane she's kind of insane definitely don't think definitely don't think that uh I mean, the insanity police, sure, they definitely seem insane, but they also definitely seem in control of all of their decisions, that's all. And she definitely kind of seems like some kind of a psychopath. <laughs> there, there, there. You know, I, I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit the freezer proper, so I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Anyway, I just kind of, uh, like, kept cutting around and then pulled it off. Like some plant, I don't know. Ew. I keep thinking about it. Yeah, that's kind of gross. Ugh, I can't sleep, Ashley, it's... Yeah, so he actually has some sort of a conscience and empathy, and I don't think she has any empathy. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know, I compartmentalize. Kinda like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Ashley, wahahaha. <laughs> Andrew, what is it, Andrew? Andrew, Andrew, Andy. I oh, damn, you bitter. I told you to stop calling me that, we're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Wah wah, mommy, the big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your oh, oh, your mouth. Make me a little bit. They're going. Ah, this is too much. Too 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 much for YouTube. Forget this. Hey Andy, remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy's and Lele's quests for something or another. Remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, then we can unpack it all later. 
or not. I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. All right, just a thought. Let's get out of here. Voice crack. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Heck no, I don't. They'll throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison? Oh, so you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your eh already. My god, I don't love you that much. Oh, you make me want to kill. I'm alive myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> oh, sibling bonding, eating people together. You know, it's just. If you don't eat people with your siblings, like, are you guys really siblings? Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. I'm sure she does feel better. I'm sure she does because she's crazy. Is that a note? It is. Okay. The note reads, Awaiting thy arrival back at the cultist lair. Andy. Ah, I knew he'd come around. Though for a moment there, I honestly thought this was going to be a, uh, unaliving note. Well, no matter. Let's see what he's up to. I mean, it's going to be obvious. Like, we broke the door. The plank is right here. It's obvious that we killed him. I mean, we didn't kill him, but all signs point to us, logically. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning and instruction manual book thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of, of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way that cultist did, but I do think this is our best bet for now. Okay, so this guy is like worried about eating somebody, but then the next day he's like, yeah, let's like ask a demon for help. <laughs> oh my. So what will he ask from it? I don't know yet. And obviously they have to offer, they have to give him an offering of some sort. So like, what are they going to do without that? I don't know. Okay. Then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's got to be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? They're just going to kill slowly every single person in their building. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. What's it need? It looks like it's already set up. I'm not done reading this yet, but can you start by replacing- or you can start by replacing the candles for now. Okay, so I'm gonna replace the candles. Replace the candles on the floor. So let's get these candles. Done. What now? Now we- <gasps> Uh-oh. Still alive and kicking, are you? Crap. Uh-oh. You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. Oh no! The weirdo one. I think he croaked, but he's just a B type anyway. Fine, I'll check it after my round. S I feel like they really are like trying to do some experiment on these people because he just said like his blood type. The warden's footsteps move away from the door. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh crap, he's gonna come in and see all of this. No, 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 no. Enough. Go stall him at our door. I will clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing, unless he checks the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. No! Go, before he notices we're not home. And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. Oh my gosh, okay. So, what are you gonna do, lick it clean? Get the mop, you dumb bastard. Oh my god, this game. This game is so mean to me. Okay, we gotta go get the mop, quickly. We're gonna clean like we've never cleaned before. The sucky thing is, is like, they have to clean everything that he did, too. Like, this whole circle, everything. Ashley, the warden is coming! So, obviously, leave. <gasps> are you sure? Oh no, we've been caught! <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh shoot! Sadly, the warden soon calls over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. Oh no, did I fail? <gasps> no! Oh my god, I failed? <gasps> oh 
I thought that was supposed to happen. Okay, I'll retry. Okay, I need to hide. Can I hide behind this bookshelf? We can hide in the bathroom. No, what am I supposed to do? Hide in the freezer? Hide in the trash? What am I, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I hide in this closet. That's right. She said something about the closet earlier. Okay, you hid in the closet. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? I like how he just doesn't even care about the giant pen pentacle on the floor. Oh, great. Another... Ah! What the? How did you get in here? Oh! 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 <gasps> she killed him. Oh, no. When did she get that knife? Oh, he killed him. Oh, he killed him for her. She's like, ugh. Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Lele, let's go play. Oh my god, so he killed him. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. Oh my god. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. So where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Actually, I am not in the mood for your crap right now. All right. Ooh, looky here. Ooh, we got a key. Okay, is that our room? Are we gonna get out? So I'm guessing that's the, the key for our door. But aren't, isn't somebody gonna come looking for this guy? Oh, uh, I was hoping it was the key for our door. Okay, maybe it's the key for the for that other guy's door. At last, you unlock the door and... Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's like, no. Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad. But I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. Okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again. Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, fine, whatever. If you're going to be this Philip Philip flippant about this... It isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I am not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even I have to put you in there myself. Ooh, you don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the frick off. Who do you think you're talking to? It's true. Honestly, honestly, my bet is on Ashley because she just seems crazy. It's, I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, see, he has, like, emotions and empathy. I don't think that she does. All I've seen from her is paranoia and, like, jealousy. Um, or not paranoia. Um, possessive- possessiveness. She has, like, possessiveness and jealousy. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half of a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Hmm, all good. Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy, what? I don't give a rat's bleh about mom or dad or any of my so-called friends anymore. None of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls or come fling food up to our balcony. Would be quite the feat to throw something up so high. The point is no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with all of the brain cells I lost while starving. But it's alright because Andy is here with me, even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. <laughs> Her laugh. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get the heck out of here already. Ooh, can I save somehow? Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so they found a slip of paper on their door. The paper slip taped on the door reads two, two, oh, two times AB. So there's two of them and their blood type is AB. What's that supposed to mean? Don't know. Don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. I think that means it's their blood type. Like, it's there's two people and their blood type is AB. What's it say on his door? Oh, it doesn't say. What does it say on these people's door? One. Oh, but it's crossed over. Okay. So that's one person with O type, but then maybe they're dead? So two people. One is A and one is B. 
This door's open. I want to check out over here. This door's open. Ooh, a key. Got a key to room 302. Okay. Looky, they got a little surveillance camera. Oh, crap. Are we on it? No, looks like it's recording the second floor. Hmm, let me see. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy! No, he only had a key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. <sighs> Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. Fourth floor key. Okay. Various documents detailing the selling and acquiring of organs. Ooh, I knew this was definitely an experiment at some point. Maybe a black market? A black market experiment somehow? Like they're selling things to the black market? I don't even know. From now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. Oh, and that's us. We're ABs. Why is that? And no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. Ah! So they chose to stop giving us supplies because we're AB. Okay, I guess we'll go to the third floor. Right, and then the warden's on the second floor. Okay, this is a lot of exploration. Alright, so we're in 302. Oh, there's a person here. Hi, lady. Hey, hey, hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? Why don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, they actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Oh, is this the hot girl? <laughs> like, bend over and open wide nicely. Ashley. F you. Get out, both of you. So she seems happy. Wow, her fridge is full of food and ours was empty as heck. Well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not, but you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. Ugh, this is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm, well, if we can get this woman up to the cultist's room, we've got us a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy butt to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. Okay, so we're gonna go finish the ritual. Hello. Um, what if we call the warden- Okay, so they found a walkie-talkie on his body, and she's saying, what if we call the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. Though he'll come in guns blazing. Oh, right. Ah, uh, let me think. Okay, so we got the walkie-talkie. Well, while you're at it, I'll ready the ritual for us. What do I need to do? I don't remember. Check the guidebook. Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes, though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn that seemed to work. Okay, I need your blood, sir. Got blood. We'll just redraw these little... Extra pentacles over here. I have an idea. Oh? Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And how are we going to make her do that? You know how. Alright then, let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Okay, so let's go talk to the lady. Which one? Okay, 302. I'm trying to just remember where I am. And we're obviously going to... You two again? Sorry, sorry, there's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. We're gonna hold her down. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off me! <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> What's going to happen now is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, please, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. H hello Huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave. It's me. She knows his name. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. Ha ha ha. Well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um, hehe, <laughs> nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. 
You cut the conversation there. All right, good. Let's go. I let her go of her now, and she'll. What do you think she'll do? I won't do anything. I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. Oh, so he's just gonna make me do it myself. What? Get going. Fine. You hurry back up to finish the ritual. Oh, demon. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? Something's here. Who are you? I can't see. Oh, it's the demon. You are asking me my name. <laughs> you are asking me my name, human. Uh, what do you offer? Yikes, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? And I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Shocked, the warden reaches for his gun. Uh, him, I offer him. What the? Ah! So, uh, well, how is it? Human with tar-colored soul, I give you this. <laughs> I, again, I don't know what this voice is. I give you this. Ooh. Unidentifiable small object, yay! Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream. To gauge troubles ahead. Thank you! The entity has left. And you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, all that happened way too fast. Yeah, we didn't even... In the end, I didn't even get its name, nor to ask for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in its demon pockets. But no matter. The warden is dead, and I have even one clairvoyant... And if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that would be cool as hell. You decide not to linger on the fact your soul is apparently a vicious pitch black mess. Yeah, he literally said her soul was the color of tar. That's, that's, that's and that's coming from a demon. It's just, we've just got dead bodies everywhere. I mean, we've got food for like a really long time though. Oh, we got his gun and a key. At last, time to shoot Andy. Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady though. Oh my God, he already took, he already killed her. Oh my gosh. Sadly, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting that you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Uh, I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, and here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while Iris getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumb l you are when it comes to woman. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay, that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What is your problem? Every time. Every time indeed. Every time some floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your, your, your D in some B and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yes, it is a uh, bad word. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Jeez. Oh my god, Ashley. This girl is crazy. She's crazy. Does she have like a weird secret incesty crush on her brother? Because that's- it's creeping me out. Blow it out your butt. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I- No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the F off of my love life, Ashley? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the heck out of her or something. What? She told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped huh, like that. So it really was you. Yeah, all I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullcrap crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here where I can't as much take a pee without you knowing. Ha, and I'd bet you'd love it if I if I offed myself then. Where did that come from? Ugh, what a prime example of your you, just you. Ha ha ha, you would, you would, I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then, I can, just for you. You know, I have just the thing for that. Back at your beck and call, just like it was way back when. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I've never once made you do anything, but it's always, I don't want to, I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this, what do you want then? Well, see, if you'd had listened to a word I'd said, you'd know I. Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then why aren't we friends anymore? Oh, of course we are. It's just... 
Forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh, no, you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultist. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither! You did, and the demon! I'm all innocent. I have not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do crap, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all by yourself. And you choose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock that one girl in that crate. Where the effing... Uh, bad, where she choked. Ha 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 ha! That's my evil laugh, I guess. Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy, my poor Andy. So she definitely died. Definitely the girl in the box died. So, that just came out of your mouth. Haha, <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it, and you chose me. You chose me, me! You backpedaling F of a brother. You chose me, you did, you did. Ack! Uh-oh, you're gonna kill her. So, I guess we're not leaving her together. You can't do it. Ha ha ha, you won't. You can't, cause... I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night and you can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. This this pair of siblings is so toxic. Fancy that when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like blank did? That one girl? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you. Can we go? I'd like to go too, but the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though, if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said, they are sleeping pills for that. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though, if you plan on ditching me anyway, then screw you. If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. Oh my god, they're so toxic. <coughs> I don't... I don't give a sh... I almost cussed. I don't give a bull about blank. I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. Ahaha, <laughs> that's right. Our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate Lele like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy, so you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. So they're just gonna go by Andrew and Ashley now, their real names? I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense, I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later. Haha. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. Wow, so they made up super fast. Really fast. Alright, let's get the freaking heck out of here. Look, an open window. Great, jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Dang it, isn't there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? Why can't we just go to the first floor? I don't understand. Why can't we just go to the first floor? That doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, a rope. Where can I get a rope? Oh, the, oh, the carpet. That's what they want. What if you climb down the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh, yeah, and I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead? Heck no, it won't. We've got to set up something to hold the carpet in place while we go down. Well, let's leave it by the window for now. Okay. Okay, something to secure the carpet with. And it's got to be upstairs, so let's go check out the third floor. Something in that lady's apartment, I bet. Or a chair. Uh, oh, the nail gun. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so the two of you use the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall. It doesn't look safe. It certainly doesn't. There's got to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. All right, you first then. Dang right, I go first. I'm a lady. You climb down very unladylike. Oh my god, okay, we've escaped the building. Let me save. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town and then find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. Then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then, as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good god, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. <laughs> if 
first things first, skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work around here somewhere too. I, even then, I don't think that's going to. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll all work out. Lest we live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. We'll eat those who won't pay the toll to cross. How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. Ha 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 ha. Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there too. Okay, so we went somewhere. And otherwise? I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Hmm. Stuck, huh? Are you... Oh yeah, completely stuck. Hee <laughs> hee. Aw. You get on a bus and drive the heck out of here. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> End of episode one. Yay! Okay, so that was the first episode of The Coffin of Andy and Lele. I really enjoyed this. Um, my throat hurts, so I'm glad that we finished it, the first episode. Um, I really enjoyed it. I don't know how many episodes or chapters there are of this game. So if you guys like this game, let me know. I will continue playing it. I don't know if it's like a full game. All I know is that this game is like in early access right now. So I don't know if it's all complete. I don't know exactly how far everything goes. But I am going to end this episode here. So if you guys like this game and you want me to start playing episode 2, um, let me know. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And if this video does well, I will obviously play the next episode on here but yeah um let me know your guys' thoughts and make sure to go support the developer as well on this game i really liked it um it definitely had my held my attention the entire time it was wonderfully dark and equally humorous at the same time i also really enjoyed the music i really enjoyed the art style um yeah i'm, I'm just i'm eager to hear more see more play more of this game yeah so i hope it starts to really pop off soon uh, more than it already is but yeah that was the episode one of the coffin of andy and lele um so yeah maybe i will see you guys again in the next episode okay <laughs>